Hello everyone and happy Monday. Got this yesterday with Chris. It's not exactly the tiger lily, but pretty close. Beautiful color because they have two yellows on the property. And was debating on putting it near the girls. So today is my cuteness overload. Let's see how the young ladies are doing. Hello, girls. Hi. Hi, look at how big they're getting. And two of the New Hampshire, um, well, three, if you could see her head, her comb is starting to come in, but hers is a little bit bigger. They go up and down now on the ramp. Last night they put themselves to bed, but they are getting big. These are usually the ones that are finicky about me, touching them a whole lot. And now my wand dots must not be in the mood because of the heat. But I just am now doing the constant touching so that they get used to me. But hello, girls. Girls need a name, but you see her comb coming in? Say hi to everyone. There's her comb right there. Two of them are in more than the other. They got leftover green beans I have to rake up. Some um, type of fruit. Um, so greens, and now today they'll get some fresh greens. Say hi. So, the New Hampshire, look at that face, so cute. The New Hampshire's will have big combs, but not real, real big combs. I was a little scared about that. Hello, beautiful lady. Say hello. They got big quick. They've been out here now. It'll be going on four weeks. And I think it's this Wednesday. They'll either be eight weeks or they'll be seven weeks. I really think it's eight weeks. Uh, their food is hanging on a string now up there. As they get bigger, then we raise it up. I'm eventually going to get a different water and a different food for them. But boy, oh boy, they're eating a lot more. Right? Say, I'm hungry. Say, I'm hungry. And these ladies enjoyed a grapevine beetle the other day. I think this is the one that had it. See, I just lightly touched them so they just get used to me touching them. Hello, pretty lady. Actually, these are still girls. Hello, little girls. These are getting so big. <laughs> I saw the video coming out on these. You're seeing it from the inside. These are called red eyes. I have to post that video. I'll do that this week. That's been helping out a lot. And trying to get this dust bath thing situated. I didn't have enough wood ash. I might have to go on Amazon and get some more. And then the, the DE mixture that came from Amazon. I put some of that in there yesterday. So I think they're starting to use it. And I've been seeing some just feathers around. But they are matting down the grass as you can see. Aren't you? So I figured I would put a little beauty. One there. Don't mind the lawnmower. One there. And I may put one on the other side. Um, these will come back every spring and summer and fall. Did you just peck me in your arm? You want attention? Did you just peck me? Hi. Um, so yeah. They were right over here checking it out as soon as I sat there to see if I like it there. I don't want to pull it in too much closer because, you know, then they'll be eating the leaves. But I got that yesterday with Chris. And now I'm either going to get one more exactly like that or the other side. Or I'm going to put a yellow one there. So the girls can have some beauty. Are you eating? You eating? They are quite entertaining. I will say that as well. I hope you all enjoyed my funny little video last week. But, yeah, they're all doing really well. If it gets too hot here, see the black feathers coming in right there on the back? I mean, I literally said to one of these a couple days ago, because it was real close to me, I said, you really look like a Purdue chicken, don't you? So in case you're not sure what these are, and you're new here, I'm a new chicken mom. These are three New Hampshire reds and three silver laced wine dots, all hens. Look at her back there. So they still do need names. If you have any suggestions, leave them down below. 
and um, they really are entertaining. They're getting big so quick. And I think I was told 11 to 18 weeks before eggs. So you can see their feathers are flying around. But they're so god-awful cute. Um, another fun fact. These are meat birds slash egg layers. From McMurray McMurray Hatcheries. Do you like that? Say prime time. Look at that cuteness. Oh my goodness. Look at how cute you are. I think I'm going to put a stump in here. Maybe over there in the corner. So when they want to, because they're flying around. Like where that little paper thing is. I have a stump. I think I'm going to put the stump in there in case they want to sit on top of it. Fly on top of it. Maybe a perch. I'm not really sure. But they're doing well. And I'm providing them with fruits and greens from out of my gardens. Oh, you would like to say hello? Say hello, everyone on YouTube. Say thank you for supporting my mama. Yeah. Time to fill up their food again. I usually fill it all the way up with their feed. And, oh, I have a quick question. Okay, so eight weeks. Uh, they're on that starter chick layer feed but when do I change them to like the real egg layer feed does anybody know what age you can change it and how old do they have to be in order to get crumbles so I'm Melody this is my Monday cuteness overload because the girls are adorable but I have to go get them some fresh water fill their feet up I'm gonna go to my green stalk tower it keeps, let me show you, all the way over there keeps producing a lot of greens. I'm going to go cut them some greens for the day. And give them some leftover beans that I could not pressure can that are just, you know, kind of yucky. So I'm going to give them to the girls. Right? Would you like some fresh veggies? Would you like some fresh veggies? Well, there you have it, everyone. I'm Melody. That's my video today for this Monday which is super hot here. I also am going to give them half of a watermelon, I think. Today I'm going to cut it open, and I'm going to give it to them. So, nonetheless, that's my video today on my Monday Cuteness Overload. And we will see you on the next video. Bye-bye, everyone. Like, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, and say we love you. Have a great Monday. Bye-bye.